Don't take that, put it on the man who possesses a demon and put it on the girl who's sick. And as soon as the, that apron, that handkerchief touched the person, the demon came out or the person got healed. That's, that's what we have. I, we should have enough faith that I shouldn't even have to touch anybody to say, you're healed. Bam! I heard the voice of Jesus speak to me. You're not going to die. I'm like, okay. And I'm still alive today. God healed me. I was telling you what happened when I was sick. And the doctor said I was going to die. But the Lord spoke to me and said, you will not die. And I said, okay. And I said, if he's going to heal me, and he will, I'm going to know him through his word. Seven years old. Seven years old. And... I went, at, they had someone read me the Bible because I wanted to hear the word of God through the whole night. But I couldn't stay up. I just fell asleep listening to the word of God. It is written. That's how you overcome Satan. It is written. Because Satan was trying to create doubt in my mind, but I believe the word of God. I said, read me the word of God. So while I'm reading, it's read to me as a sick child. I'm thinking about Elijah going up into heaven, healing a, 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 a mother's son. Because Elijah was the first man to bring someone back from the dead by the power of God. And Elisha, the bald-headed prophet, who brought back not just another lady's son from the dead, but when he died, get this one, when he was dead and his skin was already decomposed and his skeleton was in the sepulchre, these Moabites came and invaded Israel, got a bunch of Israelites and killed a man and threw his body in the same sepulchre that Elisha the prophet's body, his skeleton was at. And that body touched the skeleton of the man of God. Boom! Guess what happened? <laughs> the man came back to life and said, Hey, guys, these guys killed me. <laughs> Can you imagine? Come on, man. If God is for us, who can be against us? This is what I was thinking when I was on my bed. These stories. And I was thinking of Jesus healing in Galilee. I was thinking about King David killing Goliath and, and, and King Solomon building the temple. And I was thinking of the prophets, the miracles they did, and Samuel the prophet, and Samson killing people with a jawbone of an ass, and all of these things. And even blind, Samson pushing the pillars and killing more people at his death than his life. I'm thinking about all of this stuff, and I'm like, Gideon with the 300, and Abraham, an old man fighting with 318 people against four kings with their armies and Abraham with 318 people beat four armies just to deliver his nephew Lot. I'm saying, I believe God. So as I'm hearing that, I fell asleep. Then my parents told me that they came and prayed for me and they went, went to sleep. And by the way, Everybody in the church thought I was going to die. Only my parents and me believed I was going to live. We were the only three. The doctor said, I'm going to come back in the morning to take Joel's dead body. I'm taking it with me before the sun rises. So Mrs. Reed, um, I'll be coming back. And my mom said, okay, doctor. <laughs> okay, you can come back. But we will pray. Jesus will heal him. And the doctor, she just went, okay, Mrs. Reed, I'm coming back tomorrow morning. And off she went. Guess what happened? That night, my mom was sleeping right beside me. I wake up about 3 o'clock in the morning, and I'm hungry. Now, I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't drink. I was dehydrated. I was skin and bone. I couldn't. I, I was breathing. <laughs> Fighting for every breath. Can you imagine? I was fighting for everything.